The VLOOKUP or Vertical Lookup function is a very popular Excel function. Let's work through a few examples to master this function. Consider this example. We have a list of office supplies with corresponding prices and total costs for each item. Now we want to be able to enter an ID of the product and get its cost. Let's use the VLOOKUP function. As the first argument, it takes the value we'd like to look up. Then we specify the range we use to look for the data. So it's the entire table in our case. The leftmost column will be the column in which Excel searches for our value. The next argument is the column of our interest. We're interested in the total cost of a particular item, so it's the fifth column. Finally, we should specify if we're after an approximate or exact match as we want our ID to match exactly. We will enter false. It indicates the exact match. As you can see, we're interested in item 32, which is stapler, and Excel correctly returns the total cost of 25 pounds. If we were interested in, say, item 74, we could enter 74 here. As you can see, Excel updates the total cost correctly. Now let's try and enter a wrong ID. For example, instead of 74, we enter 75. Excel shows the not available message. That's because we don't have a product with ID 75 in our dataset. Now let's see how the VLOOKUP function works with approximate matches. We usually use this function when we don't expect to get an exact match. For example, suppose students have taken a test and we'd like to give them feedback based on this rubric. It's unlikely that all students will get a score of 0, 50, 80 or 90. That's why we will use the approximate match option. Suppose a student scored 86.5 on the test. Let's see how we set up the VLOOKUP function in this case. We follow the same steps as before. But we enter true as the last argument in this function. Now Excel looks for the highest value below the value that we entered. So as we entered 86.5, Excel found the value of 80 and returned the comment, good. Sometimes our tables may contain duplicates. For example, in this table we have two purchases of pencils. In such a case, the VLOOKUP function matches the first instance. For example, here Excel shows us £22.50 but ignores the second purchase of £7.50. It is also worth noting that the VLOOKUP function is case sensitive. So if we need to look up some text, the case register doesn't matter. If you're using Excel 365, you will have access to the XLOOKUP function. It is easier to use than the traditional VLOOKUP function. You don't need to specify the entire range anymore. Instead, you can just tell Excel the range for the lookup and then the range for the output. It also has some additional nice features. For example, instead of having a not available message, you can customize the text to display. But again, the XLOOKUP function exists only in the newest versions of Excel. Today, we have learnt how to use the vertical lookup function in Excel.